in this video, I'm gonna set up the basement and build a training spot down there and then share some tips on, you know, if you guys wanna set up your basement for training. Let's go. The unfinished basement. I'm just gonna fire up the lights, uh, get the cameras all set up and let's get going. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the Hockey Shot Home Training Centers. Basically, they give you everything you need to get started training. They start at about $500 and that gives you some tiles, uh, some training products, some pucks, some balls, stuff like that. And they go up to over $2,000, which between $500 $2,000 might be too much for your budget. So of course, I'm gonna start at something simple because right now Mason is training with Spider-Man rollerblades. So you don't need to start crazy if you have little guys, but for the older kids, they're gonna want something that feels like ice. They want those training towels. They want something where they can pa work on their passing and their stick handling, something that will give them more of a challenge. So that's where the training centers come into play. Let's go take a look at the products that you're gonna get. These are all the products that come with the entry-level premium training center. So you get 12 all-star towels. Those are great for stick handling and shooting, but you can't skate on those. You get two edge stoppers. You get two edge pieces that are smooth. You get the Speed Deke, which I love. You get two hockey shot training pucks and a hockey shot green biscuit. You also get a stick handling ball, but Mason took it, so mine's not there. You get the Extreme Defender, another great product, and you get the Extreme Pass or Clamp On. The nice thing about this setup is that with the Extreme Defender and the Speed D, if you have a pond or outdoor ice, road hockey, anything like that, you can bring that with you. Let's get this basement set up. That right there is a pretty good setup and I don't even have all the pieces out there. There's only 12 tiles, there's the edge stoppers, and there is the extreme passer. So I don't have the speed deek or the extreme defender. And I've got a couple of the pucks out there. So I'm gonna show you what you can do with only 12 tiles. And remember, anyone smaller than me will get more use out of this. I'm a bit bigger, so I'll need more room to move. But for the smaller guys, this is more than enough. The nice thing is that you can add onto the system. So if you buy it and then you want a larger training area later on, you can just buy more tiles and build it out. Let's uh, take it for a rip. You can see there's a pretty good setup using only 12 tiles, the extreme passer, and a couple puck stoppers. If you want to be cheap, you can use the puck stoppers as if they're a passer. You can just throw the puck into it. It's not going to bounce back at the same speed, so you couldn't really use it for shooting. But if you just want to throw a quick puck into it and then grab it off that stopper, it's a good way to do it. So now we're going to get out the other two products for the Defender and the Speed Deke. First, let's use the Speed Deke. You can see there's a lot of drills that you can do with the speed deke and that's because you can move it all around you can make all kinds of different shapes but you can also take it apart so you can use each individual piece as a different training tool or as an obstacle uh, another thing that i didn't show there is that you can actually make it higher so if you want to work with balls you can uh, squeeze in on the side 
and this part pops up. So then you can fit a tennis ball or a hockey ball underneath there. But if you want low profile, which I usually do, you can just squeeze the sides in and collapse it. And then it's low profile. So the puck just barely fits under. And I find that's nice because then your stick isn't always hitting the device and knocking it. I found that was quite an annoyance with the other ones because every other device is made higher. So a ball and puck can fit underneath. And the last product that the Premium Training Center comes with is the Extreme Defender. This one's pretty sweet because it has the feet. It folds right up so it's easy to store away. And when you want to use it, you just fold it out put the stick out and you're good to go. It also has a nice stick lift feature. I'll show you how it works. Let's go. There you go, there's a look at some of the products you can get with the Premium Training Center from Hockey Shot. Now like you saw with the Extreme Defender, a little bit low on space there, so I was trying to be creative, but you get an idea of how it can work, and once again, you can take that on the pond, you can take that into a bigger area if you'd like. If you've got roller blades, you can use that. The nice thing about that center is that is the most affordable option, so Hockey Shot has, of course, more going up and up and up in price, and the more you pay, the more you get. Uh, the next one up from that gives you 20 tiles, and I think that would be enough to use the Extreme Defender just in that tile system alone. You might be thinking, uh, Jeremy, what if I want to shoot some pucks down in the basement? Got you covered. Don't use a net. One second. You want to use this. This is the Extreme Shooting Tarp, also from Hockey Shot, of course. It's a giant tarp. So with a net, if you put it inside, you hit a post, bing, there goes the window. It deflections, they're going to get you. If you miss the net, of course, you're going to damage whatever is behind it. So just hang up a tarp. Uh, awesome to shoot. It's got pockets in it. I'm going to save this for a different video, so I won't install it just yet. If you want to buy any of the Hockey Shot home training centers, if you want to train in your garage, in your basement, any open room, any open space that you have, definitely a good way to go. Uh, you're gonna save some money buying the home training center versus if you bought every single product that is included in there individually. So it's a bit of a savings there. Also look for some promo codes because Hockey Shot usually has like some sale going on, especially on the holidays, there's a lot of sales going on. So look for those coupon codes. You can save money by buying the training center and then save more money by adding a coupon code to that. So link in the video description, check it out. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.